and shout out to Joe, Jojo, because I owe you, Jojo. I haven't been to the post office and I have the bag. I have it ready for you. It is just has to get into another bag and then into the post office box and then it will be there, I promise. Today, folks, welcome to Getting Fancy with Tammy, where we do subscription box openings, we do product reviews, we do some vlogging with a dash of get to know you and home repair. Today, I have a I was trying to come up with things that I can talk about and do because I don't have that much time in between working my new job. So right now we're gonna go through a get to see what palettes I have. Now all of my palettes are stacked in this nice three dimensional Tupperware container. And then I also have a couple other palettes, three other palettes on the other side. And that is not including like two pack color palettes or like one color palette, anything like that. So I'm gonna go through my palettes and I'm gonna show you all of the palettes that I have. So get ready. All right, we're gonna start with the top. I said it actually be good to find out. So now the first thing we're starting off with was is an old school Revlon liquid kind of eyeshadow with big chunks taken out. I don't even think with a brush this could go on right anymore. This is just simply overdone. This is just, this is now, this is now garbage. We're throwing that away. All right, the next one we have I do like, it's a very colorful NYX Ultimate. And it has all of these bright ass colors. And we may be doing this for a sp specific reason. I may have a surprise opening for you tomorrow that you should get all hyped about because it might be all about eyeshadows. Woo woo! And I really do like this palette. A lot of the colors come off really, really well. And they stay on very well. I like them. I like it. I like it like that. So that's one color palette that we have. We're going to divide them up into colors, beiges, and smokies. So... We'll, we'll, we'll keep it, we'll keep a, uh, an eye on it. So this one is our nudes and bronzes and shades. This is a miniature palette from Sephora. I don't know why I got this palette, honestly. I think it was just one of those like pop-up sales and you're like, yeah, that looks cute. But it doesn't really have any colors that you like. This one we just got the other day. It's from Kaja and it is like a triple colored palette where you open each layer and each layer is a different color. And I really do like this. I'm going to be using this very soon in the near future. 
One of the other ones we got is the Indica Blend by Flaunt Beauty, infused with cannabis sativa. And we're not gonna do swatches for all of these because I know I've swatched these before. And if you don't remember, go back through and watch the video where I got the palette. So, you know. And this did come in a Glow Addict palette. I remember that. Hey guys, if you are liking this video, make sure you hit that like button. The next one is a Mimosa Moments eyeshadow palette. And this is another browns and grays one. I think I actually gave one of these away. I might actually give this one away too. I'm just not a browns and grays person. This is going more in the smoky category. So we're, we're, we're lining them up in kind of a pattern. So this is Sugar Rush. And it's mostly browns and one blue and one yellow. I don't know what we were rushing for, but I mean, the blue is a, it's not even like that great of a palette. I don't know where this, where did this come from? This is by Tarte. Actually, Sugar Rush is by Tarte, and I don't really like it. Sephora and Tarte, you are disappointing. Uh-oh, watch out, old school cover girl. I don't know why, but I just can't get rid of this palette. Like, I don't know if it's the one pink color that's in here or the like highlighter color, but I just can't get rid of it. I just like it too much. All right, this is a cool one. This one is Cougar. And it is kind of like the purple triple decker one, but it is a flat decker one with a light medium and darkish brown i like that i'm going to use that one very soon as well we have a wet and wild amethyst mega glow eyeshadow trio i'm not too impressed by this um it is very cheap makeup it is wet and wild so the only color that really came out was the glitter so if i want some glitter i know where to go all right and this is a mapel and this looks really good if you do like pink colors and then you do the corners with this lovely pink shade it just makes the corners of your eyes pop. Pop. I like it. All right. We have the Steve Laurent palette, which is a bunch of browns and blacks and grays. That goes under the browns and blacks and grays. This is Sun Gazing Palette from The Beauty Crop. Look at that packaging, I love it. I love like the astrology type patterns. And then look at those colors. Lots of sparkles, lots of gold. This is a sunshine. This was probably put out in the summertime, springtime. Some good colors in there. And then this one I got from, um, it was a weird one. It was like, it wasn't Glow Addict, but it was one of, it was one of those ones that's like Glow Addict, but not Glow Addict. It's a Morphe X Manny MUA Glam Palette. So actually I should look up and see what has been done with this palette because when I got it, I didn't realize how much a Morphe and Manny like palette was like worth and all that other jazz. So 
there's a lot of like reds, yellows, peaches, and then we got some uh, face colors as well. So not just eyes, but face as well. That should go in the middle because our face ones go on the bottom. I have a studio maker with lots of browns. It has one pink, lots of browns, and that's easy to wear eyeshadow palette. This is an e.l.f. everyday smoky look, obviously. Lots of smoky looks. And you wouldn't know it by the packaging, but this Gourmand Girls Chocolate 10 Color Eyeshadow Palette is so colorful. Look at that. You wouldn't think like a palette that looked like this opened up to look like this. And the colors actually come off really well. This is one of the ones I will say I wish I've been using more because the colors do come off so well. I like it. We're gonna get into that one again very soon. So that was our top shelf. And now we have, so this was one of my favorite beauty palettes, Ace Beauty Vintage Dawn. It has every single red, orange, yellow, blue, every color you could think of and one day I lost it and I couldn't find it for a month so after a month I ordered another one <laughs> and then another month later I found the old one so I actually have one more of these floating around somewhere because I had three and now I have two so there's actually one more of these somewhere but because of all the colors, we're gonna put that with the NYC of the colors. And this one is um, Largo de Como by Nomad. This one I've been using, I have on right now. I've been using a lot and I really like it. I start with one of the yellows in the middle and then do a little bit of a lighter blue and then round it off with the like bluish glitter. I know it's a little bit messy because of work, but what are you gonna do? It doesn't look that bad. And I have my hair up for the first time. I thought it'd be cool for you guys to see me with no earrings, with my hair up, all worked out. Okay, this next one is from Glamlight Cosmetics. It's Miracle. And this is another one that is a lot of pinks and browns and reds which isn't my favorite but it isn't the worst and I actually got this miracle and this nomad one at the same time so like who could be mad when you get two palettes at the same time now this one came out of a boxy charm it's a violet boss essentials 2 pro series eyeshadow and they do have a lot of good colors. I almost ordered some from Jeffree Star that looked like this, but I decided not to. Hint, hint. All right, so we'll put this one with the colors. Let's see. We've got Shade Eyeshadow Palette Shine Bright Amore Us. Ooh, I haven't looked at this one that much because if I had, I would see that there is a lot of colors that I think I would like to use. I just need to start practicing my different makeup looks and I think that I will get a lot more use out of these palettes that I have stacking up in front of me. This is Wander Beauty Wanderless Seascape. And it just has like a six standard colors. It has a blue, green, pink, has some gold, some brown, 
and it has a little mirror, so you know. This one's not bad. This one's like middle-ish, middle ground. This one is from Deck of Scarlet. I thought Deck of Scarlet was really good when I first found it. And then I shortly came to realize it's not. <laughs> so, and it's not even like they have subscriptions. They have like five packages and that's it. So, I don't know what they're all about, but this is the first um, Deck of Scarlet. And then I have one more deck of Scarlet, which is more of a brownish, smokyish look. It has your faces and it has glosses in it. This was actually counted as like three products because of the face, the eyes, and the lips. And then it came with one more item and they called it a four pack because it had three I, three like shadows in here. They were like, oh, well those are two lip chat, the two um, lipsticks, two face palettes and three shadows. No, this is still just one palette. I'm sorry, but it's still just one. So these are medium ones. This one I haven't used yet, but it is another brown one. It's an Ultra Beauty. It's got a little bit of a color, I guess, on camera, but really it is a lot of, well, maybe we could make some colors out of it. We'll put that one in the in-between. We'll put it in the in-between and see. And then we have a couple of Beauty Creations, Splash of Love, Hearts, and then they have just the sparkles of colors. So if I wanted to add like a little dash of color. I could do that. Maybe we'll do some underneath too. Ooh. So that one was like a green, silver, blue. And then we also have in that particular palette, where did it go? We also have a orange, pink, and red in that shimmer. All right, this is one of my favorite palettes. I got this from uh, Sephora. This is Fenty Beauty, and this is by Rihanna. And these colors are really, really pretty. Um, they work a lot better if you get them wet and then you apply them. They just stick a lot better, they work a lot better, they show up a lot better, so that's why they look a little bit chunky monkey. But this is one of my favorites, for sure. We have the Buddy Boot Palette, which I will be getting in the mail as soon as I can to JoJo. JoJo, I just haven't made it to the post. Joe, I haven't made it to the post office. And I gotta get there so I can get your bag into the post office. I have it. It's ready. It just it's just been so busy. I apologize. It is going in there by this Friday, I promise, and you will have it by next Friday. Swear to God. <laughs> and you will get one of these Buddy Boot palettes in your bag with some purples, some silvers, a pink. So we got a couple colors in there. This one is from Provocative Eyes High Amp Alterage. It's from Private Society. Um, Private Society used to be like an invitation only makeup group thing, but 
Now it's open to anybody as long as you got the money. And I haven't actually used this as much as I'd like to. Um, kind of a little bit darker than I thought, but they do have the colors in the middle so that you can amp up the colors on the outside. So we're going to try to get into that a little bit more. And then this is our Rose Gold Elf uh, palette. I'll put that there. And then we have, let me make sure I have all of the uh, official eyeshadow palettes. We have a Pixie by Petra Hello LA Angel, which I am very excited. I haven't used this one yet, but I am excited to get into it when I have the chance. So, and then we have one more of Venice Fling Barley Sparin Estates. And this almost looks like the chocolate, um palette that we got with some purples, some browns, some reds, yellows, pinks. Looks very close. So those are all of our colored palettes. Hey guys, if you are liking this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you are liking the video and me, make sure you go from red to gray and be a subscriber to the Getting Fancy with Tammy show where we do product review subscription boxes. This little earring I got from Adrian Adrian's Jewelry. It is very cute. I would definitely check it out. It is down in the link. It is fancy smancy. But yeah, so I will see you guys soon. Actually, back to the video. So, but we don't just have, um regular palettes oh no 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 we have face palettes as well so i'm gonna let's count how many um actual palettes i have and then we'll count face palettes so we have 28 eye palette 20, we'll call it 30 with the glitter so we have 30 eye palettes with the glitter ones so that was just the eye palettes too we have 30 of them and actually i actually have another one a couple more that i haven't even opened yet because i have all of these ones and I haven't even gone through all of these yet, so, yeah, now. So, now we are on to face palettes. It's not that many, but I have a lot of, like, eyeshadow and blush, like, compartment things, too. If I pulled all of those out, it would be a lot. So, this is just showing what I have right now and I know I got one the other day in my boxy charm I must have put it someplace because I know it was an expensive one so this is Too Faced Coco Contour and look at all those colors in there and this actually did come with a brush too and it snaps closed. It's got a little heart. It's cute. This is the one that I've been using. It's um, Kenya Entrevaux Beauty. It's Set and Define Kit. And I've been using this for the um, bronzer, the highlighter, and some of the setting. So I've been using this one. This is Oakland Mysterious Highlight Brush Bronzing Veil Face Palette. And as you can see, we haven't even gotten into that one yet, but it's on the list. 
This is a Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette, which I don't know why I haven't gotten into this one yet, but I just figure like you might as well finish one before you start another. You know what I mean? So, and these are all really nice too. Like the more I look at them, the more I want to use them. And this is a really cool one. This is like one of my favorite palettes. This is a Bella Pierre Cosmetics Color Correcting Concealer Palette. So like if you're too red, too blue, too brown, too yellow, you can do the opposite color and correct your skin tone, which is really good, especially when you've had a rough day or night before. And we have five of those face palettes that I am using. So we're gonna, actually we have one more. I lied, I have six, but we're only using one right now. And this is Ace Beauty Bronzed in Paradise. And that is what it looks like. And I know I got another one in my BoxyCharm the other day. I just, I don't know where it is right this second. I just found one more. I found this So Susan Skin Bronzing and Sculpting Palette. So this is seven. We have seven. And I know I have one more because I just got it yesterday. I just don't know where it is right now. But if you guys liked this makeup unveiling and little show off of what I have as far as makeup and what we're going to be doing and hopefully what makeup looks someday I will be able to come across. So... Hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little insight into my color schemes and what I like, what I don't like. What did you like? What didn't you like? Throw me a comment. Give this video a like. Let me know how you are doing. Let me know what's up, what's happening, how's it going. And shout out to Joe. Jojo because I owe you Jojo. I haven't been to the post office and I have the bag. I have it ready for you. It is just has to get into another bag and then into the post office box and then it will be there. I promise. And thank you to all of my fancy friends for being a fancy friend. You know I appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow in between jobs because I am going to two jobs tomorrow. What? For real. Two. Yay.